Hi, I'm Pagata12 and today we play with Pixels and uh, here is one of my first game uh, I ever played and uh, was released in 82 in Japan and uh, was a, a big success. You have to place the boxes uh, on uh, a certain spots uh, marked with uh, circles uh, in this case. And uh, I was thinking, how can I do the same with a texture in which I have a bunch of colored pixels and I want to get them out of the black ones, black ones, okay? And uh, eventually we end up with a texture like, like here in which uh, we take the pixel uh, on a rows and we eliminate uh, the black ones, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, we build this using only tops. So I leave it aside to guide me. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's start clean. So we need a constant, okay. So constant chop. So let's go with a, a resolution, uh, uh, maybe seven, okay. And uh, here we have a, a noise top with this resolution, okay. Okay, now this one is black and white, 32 uh, RGBA. And what I would like is to, to get a couple of pixels white and everything else uh, black. So uh, I go with a mat and uh, maybe round, or you can try uh, uh, floor or ceiling, depends. And um, if you play with offset, then you can uh, set the amount of the white uh, pixels. And uh, right after, I will use a limit to make sure my values are either zero or one. So I clamp with zero one. And now I use a noise. And this one is uh, colored. And instead of uh, plus noise, we go input multiply with noise. And uh, yeah, we have uh, now the pixels. And so I would also like to, to have the black uh, area transparent. So uh, we go with uh, reorder and we take for the second input, we take the red and uh, we are ready. So, okay. And now let's have a null. And in between, we insert a null. Okay, we click outside, collapse selected. And so, yeah, we, we need to build this uh, uh, component. I will name it uh, Sokoban, but you can name it how you want. So inside here, let's see what we can do. So first, I would suggest to, to align this texture, to, to arrange this texture in a, a linear manner. So uh, let's uh, use a point cloud repack. Okay, obviously here it's one. And for the resolution X, let's see, we go with info, we grab the resolution X and we drag it here and we rise it to power of two, okay? And now I will uh, set this nearest pixel. Okay, so we have those points, okay. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see now, how can we solve this? So uh, my idea is to push those pixels up and uh, every pixel it's pushed uh, with one pixel above the, the one before. So, uh, uh, for example, this yellow one uh, should be pushed uh, two squares and uh, the next one, three squares and, and so on. And um, yeah, let's first grab with a reorder, let's grab the alpha. Okay, and let's have this uh, mono. Now, we have those uh, uh, pixels and 
we need to sum them to give them an index okay and uh, this is very very similar with a, a five years old tutorial i believe which is called kissing spheres in which maybe we we go uh, more in detail uh, on on this but um, we need to to stretch this texture in a in a square uh, manner so uh, we'll use a fit and we go with uh, this type of resolution so we square by two and copy past here and uh, yeah this is nearest pixel and fill <coughs> okay now we have this texture i would like to to form a ramp stairs so uh, i like to build this out of a uh, ramp but um, not uh, composite instead resolution only okay and uh, this ramp let's go with um, radial ramp we drag the position to bottom left with minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 uh, and right after we use a mat and uh, round okay just a second here in the face we can go with 5 divided by 8 and now we have these uh, stairs okay now don't forget NTLIs uh, off because sometimes uh, you'll get uh, some some errors in the in the stairs okay now if I multiply with this uh, texture now we have a, a quite special texture here because we can sum on a rows and we get the index for each pixel that, that we need to uh, rearrange okay so let's see if i go with analyze and uh, sum okay and we go with rows now we we can't see because uh, all the values here are either one or bigger than one except the zero for the uh, pixels in the bottom and uh, we can see this you know six seven and we can we can see it as normalized split for which the colors stretched stretch in between zero one so we can see it and the values remain uh, the same so uh, yeah now i would like to flip this bottom left and in order to use it in a display to push the pixels i need to uh, make it smaller because the values are way too big so I use a mat and I divide with uh, uh, my resolution and uh, my resolution is uh, this square by two so one divided by this it's a pixel length and uh, yeah we need to divide it by two and uh, use the minus you'll see in a moment and now before we use a uh, displays so let's have a displays here i said before the displays we use a group because right now we only have one line so we need to make a uh, room for uh, pixels to be to be pushed so uh, in this case i have a couple of pixels so it would be normal to to group with that amount but then uh, maybe for each frame we have different amount of pixels and so different resolution for each frame that would uh, uh, slow the, the FPS and instead we, we go with the maximum group like this so square by two okay and uh, repeat zero you see we only have the bottom line and now with this place we need uh, uh, not horizontal instead vertical and let's set here zero and uh, yeah now let's check okay now each pixels it's placed above the one before okay now this is pretty good and my next move would be to to uh, push them 
one more from the right uh, and have them all in line on the left side okay now for that we need to measure how far are those from the left line so uh, as we we already know uh, a ramp is a ruler so we measure that with with ramp uh, but first i would like to reorder the alpha to see uh, black and white points okay like this okay and uh, now i use a, a ramp and you see they already have uh, uh, pretty good values right now but instead to uh, instead of going multiply i set the resolution only and what i plan to do because uh, uh, you see i would like to have zero here on a first pixel okay so that means i need to subtract half of the pixel so with the math i can go um, minus one divided by the resolution square by two divided by two okay and now we multiply like this and we use an analyze and we go with the uh, rows and go with the maximum pixel okay so we have this let's select everything make everything nearest pixel okay and now um, let's use a displace again and uh, let me check so i have this analyze what we need first yeah let's use it here so now we need to displace on horizontal so no uh, vertical zero here and uh, yeah it's it's a bit strange but we need to one more thing okay here we use a mat and only take half of this one divided by two and now we have all the pixels on a left line and uh, this uh, pinky one we can get rid of it by using zero here so uh, okay now we group um, with one pixel okay and we use uh, another point repack and we go with uh, seven by seven okay and let's connect it here okay so uh, we're pretty much done here okay now you see we have uh, this working now let's let's see how big we can go okay for the ones that uh, uh, use uh, that are using the non-commercial you have to know that the maximum is uh, 35 so if we check now we have uh, 1225 uh, pixels and so the the limit for the non-commercial is uh, 1280. Uh, if you have commercial and you can uh, uh, go bigger with with this uh, yeah let's try 64. so 64 it's uh, it's nice so we have 60 fps let's make this move to to just check this so abs time dot frame divided by 1024 and uh, yeah we it's it's going pretty pretty good so i believe we we can we can go with uh, i don't know maybe 80 let's see and uh yeah the the fps start to 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 drop so uh right now we have 6400 uh, pixels so this this uh, technique just because uh, it's using that uh, type of uh, linear texture okay long um, 
We can name it naive, okay, like uh, the previous method for uh, uh, for uh, computing distance to all uh, uh, collisions uh, um, and many many others, okay. And uh, yeah, however, uh, on on my pattern, I have a method, uh, and you can you can solve uh, ten times more uh, pixels uh, than uh, than uh, this. So. Um, Join me there if you want. You'll get access to a bunch of other tutorials. We go crazy uh, there. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this. And uh, thank you massive to all my patrons. See you in the next one. Bye.